Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts, as should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. That's just Meredith's idea of Kirkwall hospitality. Really? Kirkwall brutality? You must rip the skin off your face, then. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty, may I say what an honor it is to meet you? Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was a great tragedy. Ah, yes. Yes, it was. Thankfully, the man responsible has paid for that. So, you're a king now. Moving up in the world. Isabella, right? You look... different. Don't we all? I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. Things are looking up. It's not often I get called on to meet with foreign leaders. I know you came here from Lothering. A Ferelden refugee that did well for herself. Against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlais. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle. Of which there aren't many. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha! Ah, easier said than done. We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Ferelden will always be my home. I hope we see you back there someday. We could use someone like you. Champion. Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlé isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Orlé? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. What do you need me to do? Sadly, it may be too late. Meredith got wind of my arrival sooner than I'd hoped. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Just me standing between the city and disaster, huh? I've been there. Trust me, it isn't pretty. Well, I suppose I should get back to the old ball and chain.
You know the Queen hates it when you call her that. No, she doesn't. Just because she killed an archdemon, she doesn't scare me. You keep telling yourself that, Your Majesty.